or the American people are going to lose in this whole deal. Joining me now is Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Senator, good to have you on tonight. Did the president rally the troops today? How do you feel about what he had to say? Well, I think he made a number of important points. And I think one of the most important points that he made is that we have got to stop playing defense. And we've got to go on the offense. And the idea that we are being lectured to by right-wing Republicans about the deficit crisis is totally incomprehensible because these are exactly the guys who by and large caused this crisis. They are the people who went to a war in Iraq which will eventually cost between two and three trillion dollars. They're not paying for that war. They didn't put one penny into paying for that war. They are the people who gave hundreds of billions of dollars in tax breaks to the richest one percent. They didn't pay for that. They passed the, in, the prescription drug bill written by the insurance companies and the drug companies, $400 billion over 10 years. They didn't pay for that. Yeah. They're the ones who did the Set TARP bailout, $700 billion. They didn't pay that. I don't want to be lectured by these guys about yeah. the deficit crisis. They caused it. Well, Senator, Senator, I know that you, you know, you, you've got uh, everything together when it comes to the priorities of the American people, but somehow it just seems that the Democrats have lost focus that they still are the majority party. And the president today, when he was speaking to, to the Senate Dems, he, uh, he brought that up and pointed it out. Here it is. All that's changed in the last two weeks is that our party's gone from having the largest Senate majority in a generation to the second largest Senate majority in a generation. And we've got to remember that. Uh, there was apparently a, a headline uh, after the Massachusetts election. Uh, the Village Voice announced that uh, Republicans win uh, a 41 59 majority. <laughs> So we're thinking about it. We still have to leave. So, Senator, do you believe that the Republicans will work with this president and your side of the aisle on anything? No, I don't. I think they have a strategy which is working very, very well for them. It's called obstructionism. It's called filibustering. It's called doing everything you possibly can to make sure that Obama does not score any successes. And I think the time is long overdue for the Democratic leadership to understand that. And furthermore, the truth is we never really had 60 votes. You don't even have 59 votes. No. You're going to have to look at reconciliation, 50 votes, which we do have, yeah. to go forward on health care, to go forward on bank reform, to go forward on a jobs program, to go forward on those issues which are meaningful to the middle class and working families of this country. Forget the 60 vote and, nonsense. Yeah, and Senator, I, w I want to just be very clear. What is your position on the TARP money being used, the $30 billion that would go to job creation? Are you for uh, the Obama plan to do that, or absolutely. are you against it? No, absolutely for it. Look, we are looking at... Ed, 17% of our people today are either unemployed or underemployed. We have got to rebuild this economy. We've got to provide jobs for the American people. One way you do it is get credit yeah. out to small businesses. You've been talking about this. A lot of people have been talking about this. I know in Vermont and around this country, you have small business people ready to expand, ready to create new jobs. They can't get the loans from the banks they need. We should, in fact, provide those loans. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Senator Bernie Sanders from Vermont with us here on The Ed Show. For more, let's turn to Democratic strategy.